Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond YouTube's longest running home recording tutorial channel dedicated to GarageBand, helping beginners out there, helping advanced users out there. Uh, I'm doing guitar reviews here, microphone reviews here, all sorts of different stuff about how to be a professional musician and the list goes on and on. I've been doing this for a long time. There's tons of videos, lots of useful information. So please check out all my videos, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to help me make my channel grow, which I'm trying to do. Anyway, we're gonna talk about vintage microphones that you can buy for under $100. The one we're specifically talking about today is this little beautiful guy right here. This is the Electro Voice 630, which I personally bought at a garage sale about eight years ago for around 20 to $25, I can't remember, but it was cheap as cheap could be. Um, now, as time has gone on, I've watched the price of these things slowly start to go back up as people figure out that they're cool for recording studios, especially home recording studios. If you're someone like me who just likes to have sort of fun looking microphones laying around, this is this is perfect, it's cheap. I mean, I, I looked on eBay before I made this video, I see one of these going for around 50 bucks. Fair warning, it didn't have a cable. So make sure if you get one of these things that it has a cable. But anyway, let's listen to this microphone, okay? So I'm just gonna switch over. So obviously there's a massive sound difference. I have to be kind of careful when I'm next to this microphone as well. I gotta pay attention to my uh, my plosives and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's a very sensitive microphone, especially now that I have it running through my Joe Meek preamp. It does need a lot of juice to get uh, any sort of workable signal, but it's a cool sounding microphone, which I'm sure you can already hear. Now, again, I'm not doing any EQ or any compression on these videos as I always do when I'm trying to do microphone reviews. I am the guy who invented that whole concept. Um, <laughs> anyway, this thing was originally designed in the 1950s as a public address system microphone. So it was really never intended to be sung into, but I can promise you a bunch of people used to, you know, in the 50s before PAs were properly, um, you know, done, <laughs> let's just put it that way. They weren't really designed for music. It was like those loud bull horns um, and stuff. Like when you hear about the Beatles performing at Shea Stadium, you, you've you heard the stories, I'm sure. It was so bad that nobody could hear them, right? But um, also they were coming through those like bull horns all around the stadium. This is that same era of technology. This is an early 1950s microphone. So it does, like I said, doesn't have like this beautiful tone, but it has a very interesting characteristic. I like to use it on vocals that I plan on distorting. If I know I'm gonna distort a vocal, I pull this thing out because it always sounds extra cool. Um, this is one of those things that not many people are gonna recommend that you sing into except for me, but it's just a cool sounding thing. Now, of course, I'm gonna go back to the SM57 and I'm doing this on purpose because the SM57 is the industry standard, right? Everybody should know what an SM57 sounds like. It's a nice standard level that we can all sort of agree on decent enough microphone, especially if we're gonna be doing comparisons. Now, on the Electro Voice 630, it does have an on-off switch on the front. You know, that's the only switch that it has. Now again, this is, of course, a cheap public address microphone, but I have found it very fun and very useful in my studio here. And uh, yeah, definitely check out the videos that I've you know put in the more info area for you to hear musical samples with this. I just wanted to sort of point you in the direction of some of these cool, old 50s microphones that were never really designed for the home recording studio, but they look cool. They have tons of character in the studio world. Like when you're singing into them and you're trying to EQ them and stuff, you're like, wow, that is such an odd sound. It's not a beautiful sound, right? But it's just tons and tons of character. It looks great in videos. Just a super fun thing. I looked on eBay before I made this video. I see these going for $100 and under with their cable. Make sure that you get their cable because they're very difficult to find if you don't have one. It has a special uh, way to, you know, screws in here. And then it's, on the other end, it's just a regular quarter inch, I will say, which is nice because then I could also plug this in through guitar effect pedals if I wanted to do something like that, which would be really fun. Back over to the SM57 so we can keep sort of hearing a difference. The 630, super fun thing to look at, super fun thing to work with. And when you go to eBay and you start researching these, I will tell you, go down, you know, scroll down and look at the bottom rows. Like people who searched for this also searched for this. And it will show you all of these really cool looking microphones that you've probably never seen or heard of in your life. And they're all super cheap. These like old Electro Voice public address system microphones, I mean, you know, the 50s, remember the cars and the fashion? It was so much cooler than what's going on now. I'm sorry, you know, if you're like a microphone designer, take a tip from the 50s, because they made the best looking microphones, I think. And this one's, I mean, it's all original, original cable, durable as hell. 
I've dropped it. I don't take any good care of it. I sort of leave it on a shelf. It collects dust all the time. <laughs> I sort of felt like, hey, if it's made it this far, I, I can put it on the shelf and it'll, it'll do fine all by itself. But it's a cool microphone. And that's basically what I'm here to say. There's lots of these kinds of things available. And if you're like me and you like having fun things to play with and cheap things to buy, I highly recommend that you check out the Electro Voice 630. And then if you're doing that search, look at all the other microphones in that same price range and from that same era designed for that same purpose, which was just talking, you know, announcing like uh, whatever, baseball score, or baseball games, or <laughs> I don't know, whatever people in the 50s were announcing through microphones into PA systems in stadiums or carnivals or whatever. It's a really cool old piece of technology that's affordable fun to have around and I just kind of wanted to talk about it today so anyway I hope you enjoyed this quick little video quick look at this awesome microphone from the 1950s I truly do enjoy owning it it's a really fun thing I've said that enough you guys always thank you so much for watching my Monday music videos you guys you guys are the best I'm so happy that you like the music that I'm putting out um, it really does mean a lot to me I am an artist at heart it seems like a lot of people don't realize this um, <laughs> But I've been performing since I was 15 years old. I've been in the recording studio since I was 16 years old. I'm 43 now. I am a professional singer. I'm a professional performer. I'm an artist at heart. And I'm here on YouTube to help you guys learn how to do this stuff all by yourself at home using GarageBand and you know, getting awesome results. GarageBand sounds just as good as Logic and Pro Tools for most things. Like for the kind of music I do, it sounds equally as good, you guys. So um, that's what I'm here trying to do. Show you the cool equipment, show you the cool techniques, how I do my thing, and uh, hopefully you guys get some useful information out of it. So please check out all the videos that I've made here on GarageBand and beyond. I truly do appreciate your support. My patrons on Patreon, you guys are my saviors you guys have really really helped this channel survive if you're interested in becoming a patron check out my patreon page i'm not leaving a link for it below because youtube will <clears throat> bury my video if i do that um but i'm gonna i'm just gonna pop it up here and you're gonna look at it and if you're desperately wanting to support this channel and help it grow you're gonna find your way over to my patreon page i think that's enough you guys all right have a wonderful day i'll talk to you soon peace